Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video I want to show you how to use the uh, view model factory. So if you haven't watched my previous video about uh, view model I highly recommend you to do that before you watch this video. So first let's start uh, by adding a dependency for a view model. So uh, in the previous video uh, you saw that uh, uh, how to use a view model class but uh, you haven't seen an example on uh, how to pass arguments to our view model and uh, our view model factory is uh, all about that. So here uh, let's first create a class for a view model. So this will be just an example for our view model. So let's name that uh, main view model. Okay. And uh, here uh, we're going to extend the view model of course. Okay, and uh, here we want to add some uh, parameters, okay? So we're going to add just a simple string. So name, string, okay? And uh, in our main activity, we're going to initialize our uh, view model. So let's use a view model provider. And uh, here, as you can see, there is no uh, direct uh, uh, parameter where we can pass our value. Uh, and... Uh, if we want to pass uh, argument, we need to use a view model factory instead. So uh, how can we do that? So we're going to create a new class that will extend the view model provider factory. Okay, but before that, uh, here in our main uh, view model, we want to add uh, just some basic code uh, for using this uh, argument. So I'm going to store this uh, parameter in this uh, uh, variable my name and uh, in initializing block I'm going to just uh, log uh, this uh, value of this uh, uh, argument. Okay, so let's type here uh, my uh, YouTube uh, channel name and we're going to pass our uh, value of our argument here. Sorry, not name but my name instead. Okay. So uh, now uh, let's go ahead and create uh, one more class which will extend the view model provider factory. Okay, so let's name this uh, main view model factory. Okay, and this class will extend the view model provider dot factory. And as you can see, our Android Studio is uh, warning us, so we need to override uh, one method called uh, create. So let's do that. Click OK. And uh, here, uh, as you can see, uh, we need to type uh, some code. So inside our create uh, method, we need to type if our model class, a model class is a reference to our uh, model. So uh, if our model class is assignable from, and uh, here uh, we need to pass our uh, main view model, okay, which is our view model, and uh, we need to return a value. So we are going to actually return our uh, view model with its argument. But uh, how can we pass this argument? Well, we're going to uh, use our main view model factory to actually uh, pass our, uh, to take our uh, argument and pass it inside our mu main uh, view model. So now let's use this uh, variable and let's uh, add that in our uh, main view model as a parameter. Okay, and just, uh, okay, I'm going to just use this suppress annotation. And next, uh, I'm going to just uh, throw a uh, illegal argument exception here. And I'm going to write something like uh, uh, view model not found or something like that. Okay, and there it is. So let's get back to our main activity. And uh, here we're going to initialize our view model factory. So inside our view model factory, we're going to pass uh, our value for our uh, argument. Okay. And then our view model factory will use that value to pass to our view model. So now we need to uh, set our second uh, parameter for our view model provider to our view model factory. And that is how our view model will receive this uh, argument from our view model factory. Okay, so uh, let's recap uh, once more. So inside our view model, we have uh, one parameter and basically we're assigning that to our my name variable and we're going to display that inside our uh, log. And in our main uh, view model factory, uh, we're using this uh, uh, create uh, method and uh, we are basically passing uh, our argument from our main, uh, main view model factory to our main view model, okay? And that is how we're going to pass the argument to our view model. So with our view model factory. And now uh, let's check it out 
to see if uh, everything will work fine okay so let's open up our log get here and as you can see it uh, already we can already see here that uh, it says my youtube channel name and uh, our argument which we passed and let's run it again as you can see everything works fine okay so uh, that will be all for this video uh, thank you for watching please like this video if you find it helpful of course and uh, see you in the next one